Well, tonight here on News 12, the Bronx, we're remembering all of the lives lost at the tragic Happy Land fire 32 years ago. It was an act of arson that killed 87 people inside the social club. And tonight, Bronxites are gathering for a prayer across the street from where it happened. News 12's Faith Graham joining us now from West Farms. Faith, a somber evening there. Amanda, Kurt, that is just one way to put it. 32 years later, and you can still feel a heaviness and sadness in the air here at the monument on the corner of East Tremont Avenue and Southern Boulevard. It was open all day to mourners to come and pay their respects and a prayer just wrapped up a few moments ago. And while they were here, they read the name of every single victim, which to put it in perspective, it fills up more than half the sheet of paper. 87 people. More than two dozen people came out here tonight, including borough president Vanessa Gibson, state senator Luis Spolveda, and members of the mayor's office. Many in tears as they remembered their loved ones. The fire took place on March 25th, 1990, and was started by Julio Gonzalez, who had gotten into a fight with his girlfriend. Knowing that his girlfriend was scheduled to work that night at the social club, he set it on fire, trapping people inside. Two sisters here tonight say they lost their father and two cousins. And despite being toddlers at the time, the pain has stuck with them and their families ever since. I just wish, you know, I got to meet my dad and my two cousins. I wish my dad was here to see, you know, his two grandbabies. It's not over. <laughs> I don't think we will ever be at ease or at peace uh, through this tra uh, tragedy. It gets harder and harder every year, but we here and they watching over us. Still remembering them all this over three decades later. Very important. Faith, did anyone talk about how they plan to make sure that, you know, no one ever forgets the victims? Yes, 32 years later, and it's still a huge topic of conversation. And Senator Spolveda says that within the next month, he plans on creating a new sign outside the monument with all of the people's names that lost their lives in the, that fire. He says that their families deserve a permanent place to come with a nice sign to remember their loved ones in a day that deeply impacted the Bronx. In West Farms, Faith Graham, News 12. All right, Faith, that those efforts will go a long way.